Hey everybody, today on Rich's Methods. Hope you're enjoying the view. Hey guys, the one day when I was walking out from a parking lot, I noticed that someone actually hit the back bumper of my car. I was kind of mad after this, but I thought, hey, you know what? I can easily touch this up with touch-up paint. So I'll show you how to do that. It's actually really simple. First, you need a piece of paper towel and some rubbing, rubbing alcohol. You can get this at a pharmacy or anywhere, pretty much. It's just isopropyl alcohol. I'm just gonna put some of this on here just to clean it off any oil or dirt that might be on the paint itself. Try to be uh, minimal with this because you don't want to get it all over your paint because I'm sure it can help to degrade it even more. Okay, so let that dry. It'll dry probably within like 10 seconds. <clears throat> Next, you're actually going to add the touch-up paint. You can purchase this at an auto store. Um, any supermarket pretty much has these. You go to the auto section of the store and uh, you look for your make and model and the color of your car. And usually one of the associates can help you find the color for your car. Um, to add it, the key to adding the touch-up paint is using a finger rest. So when I touch this, I'm going to have one finger on the car itself. I'm going to paint it on very lightly along where the paint was scratched off. I'm going to do that now. Here we are zoomed in on the actual scratch itself. I've already wiped it off with rubbing alcohol. And now I'm going to add the paint using the finger rest like I mentioned before. I'm going to put my pinky on the actual body of the car and I'm going to wipe it on very lightly as if you're putting on nail polish pretty much. Not that I do this normally. <laughs> Try to steady your hand as much as possible and only put paint where you need to put it. Okay, so now you can see I actually added the paint where the scratch was. The scratch was right here. It was about a foot long. Again, this happened in a parking lot. I have no idea how this occurred. And you also want to make sure it's not going to rain overnight because you don't want this to drip off uh, during the night or when it rains. Um, so within 24 hours, I'm going to come back with a fine grit sandpaper. I'm going to wipe it very lightly and I'm going to apply a layer of wax over top of this and it'll be good as new. Here I am 24 hours later. Now I'm going to actually sand it with a fine grit sandpaper. This is a P400 sandpaper. You're going to lightly sand it. The, the mark is right here. You can probably barely see it. And I'm going to zoom in on it for you just so you can get a better view. So now you can actually see where the line is of the paint. And I'm going to just go over it very lightly. I'm going to bend the sandpaper slightly so that's a very small surface area. I'm just going to sand right along the paint itself. Be careful you don't take all the paint off. You're just trying to get it make it nice and smooth with the rest of the car paint. and try to only sand where you put the touch-up paint. Okay, and I'm gonna wipe this off with a clean terry cloth towel. And next we're gonna add a layer of wax. Okay, so I allowed the wax to dry, now I'm going to buff it off with the clean side of the terry cloth towel that you had from before. And there you go. You see there's some spots that actually came off with the sandpaper. I'm going to go back over them with a touch of paint and repeat the process. Um, but eventually you'll get this looking almost as good as new. You'll probably always still see a slight mark from where you put the touch-up paint, but it looks a lot better than it did before when there were scratch marks there. Alright guys, well good luck.